Hello fellow Peanuts fans, you may have seen this brand new book that's been on the market, Charles M. Schultz, The Art and Life of the Peanuts Creator in 100 Objects. You may have noticed these dolls on the front and wondered, what are they? Well, let's take a look at what they are. <laughs> Here we've got Charlie Brown, and we have Lucy. So these are Hungerford dolls. They first came out in 1958, and they came in two sizes. So you've got your, your large one and your slightly smaller one. And you can see there's a little, there's a few little differences between the dolls. And they also had a Linus and a Snoopy in both sizes. I do not have both sizes right here but I do have the large size. Here's Linus for comparison. And here's the Snoopy. This is also the large Snoopy. Linus did come with his blanket. Originally this would have been a blue flannel, but over the years, I think it, it's either sun bleached or I, I, don't, I don't know what happened to it, but unfortunately his blue blanket is no longer blue. Uh, if it's out of the package, you usually will not find this original blanket. I do not know if this actually is the original blanket, but based on how nice this set was and how well it was kept, I have a feeling it might be. Here's a closer look at Charlie Brown. Now these aren't hard to find. You can find them pretty readily on eBay. The major problem with finding them is price and condition. The better the condition, the much higher the price goes. Uh, you can see Snoopy originally was squeaky, so getting one that's still intact and still squeaking. These other characters, I don't know if they did not originally squeak or if they've just gotten harder over the years and Snoopy being white, maybe that was a different material that hasn't gotten as hard. And here's Lucy. Down to the bow on the back of her dress. And on all of these, you can see that they say, hopefully you can see this, it says UFS on the bottom, United Features Syndicate. You can tell that they are definitely licensed. And after they came out with these four characters, they came out with a few more. We have Schroeder here with his piano. This only came in one size. And this is a harder one to find with the piano. Uh, whenever there's multiple pieces, it's, it's hard to keep them together. And you can see there's a bust of Beethoven there. And there's Pigpen. This one, <laughs> he just doesn't have a lot of dirt on him, but you can see that they did uh, put some texture on the face and on the arms, just to sort of, you know, the, all the clothing, everywhere has texture to give it that, uh, that dirty look, I guess. You know, ki kids will bring their own dirt to uh, this toy. And finally, there was a Sally. It was not this tiny. <laughs> All I have is this reproduction. Um, what I love about this reproduction is they actually released it with the header cards so that you kind of had the feeling of how the original doll would have been in the package. Now this was released by Medicom in 2013. I believe they did make larger versions of these, but I have not seen those in person. Um, you should be able to easily do some research on that if you're more interested in it. But for right now, all I have is this tiny Sally to go with my, my giant dolls. So originally all of these would have been in 
just a regular plastic bag with a cardboard header at the top and it would have looked something like this this is uh sally's and hers is a little bit different the other characters would have had a comic strip at the top and kind of a little introduction to the character and they also repackaged these for ford falcon so sometimes you'll find them with ford falcon headers and those are the rarest of all and the priciest of all of course uh, finding them in the package is great and wonderful and if you can afford it it's a great addition to your collection all of these dolls are like a a hard plastic or with snoopy kind of a softer whoop, a softer rubber uh, the, the piano is also kind of soft and if you ever ooh, if you ever find these in ceramic those are crafts basically somebody created a ceramic mold from the Hungerford dolls and then was reselling them so that craft stores could cast their own peanuts figurines for people to paint so when you see them they will have a wide variety of personal style <laughs> so just so you know those aren't as desirable to collectors there's probably some collectors that like those but i feel if you're going to be spending your money anywhere spend them on the real thing if you'd like to know more about the history of the hunger for dolls be sure to visit collectpeanuts.com there's a lot more to know and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tales of peanuts collectibles come join us on patreon.com to help sponsor more videos like this in the future Happy collecting. Bye. Guys, you should totally get this book because it's uh, pretty fabulous. Just do a quick looking at a couple pages. It's basically objects that Charles Schultz owned or were part of his journey through peanuts. very interesting book. I haven't gotten to actually like read it, read it, but I did flip through and look at all the pictures. Boy, are there are a lot of pictures. So definitely go check out this book because it is worth it. Also, if you go to the Schultz Museum, you can get it signed by Jean Schultz, who was Charles Schultz's wife. So definitely go check that out. Also, I want these cute fun mobiles from my collection. Wouldn't that be fun? Look at that. Definitely something. Definitely a good buy for your collection.